Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effect tutorial, today we are going to create this. So let's get started. As usual, first create a new composition 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, it's called main comp. Now create a new solid background layer. And apply fill effect, change fill color little bit black color. Not deep black. Then drag our first texture image. Scale image size according to composition. Then select image layer. And create to ellipse like this. And change mask feather all the way 1000 pixels. Then apply curves effect, and make your curve something like this. Now apply tint effect. Then apply sharpen effect. And change the sharpen amount according to your choice. Now create a new text or logo composition. And change the dimensions according to your text and logo. And type your text. Now go to main comp and drag text and logo comp into timeline. Then apply fill effect. And change fill color black. Then apply drop shadow. Change opacity around 80%. Distance around 40 and softness 80. Now search bevel alpha effect. And change edge thickness around 4. And light intensity 1. Now create a new full HD composition. It's our reflection comp. Then create a solid layer. and apply fractal noise effect. Increase the contrast around 270 and brightness 5. And also change the transform scale around 300. Then animate the evolution. So go to first frame and add a keyframe. Then go to last keyframe and change the evolution cycle 1. Now go to main comp. And drag reflection comp into timeline. And duplicate the text and logo layer, and move above the reflection layer. Select reflection layer and change track matte alpha matte. And apply CC glass effect. Change bump map to first number of text and logo comp layer. Change softness around 30. Height around 55. And displacement around minus 250. Then select first text and logo comp layer and delete all effects and apply CC glass effect now change softness around 40 and displacement around minus 115 then apply CC blobblies effect And change blob layer, 
first number of text and logo comp layer and change softness around 6 and cut away around 20 perfect, it's look good to me Now drag second texture image into timeline, and scale down according to composition. Then duplicate this text and logo comp layer, and move above the second texture image, and change track matte alpha matte. And turn down the opacity around 20%. Now create a null layer and parent all layer with null layer except background layer. Then select null layer and hit S for scale and add a keyframe on first frame then go to last keyframe and increase the scale little bit for movement. Now create a new adjustment layer and search glow effect and also change the layer name then change the glow threshold around 85 glow radius around 100 to 150 and increase the glow intensity little bit here you can see the little bit glow effect perfect I know the exact value, because I already did practice several time. Now drag particle footage into timeline, and change mode normal to screen. Now create a new black solid layer. And double click on ellipse tool to create a perfect ellipse. Change mask app to subtract, and increase the mask feather around 600. Then change layer opacity around 30%. Now drag lens footage into timeline. And scale the size little bit. And change mode normal to add. You can find all footage link in the description. Now create a new adjustment layer and apply sharpen effect. Also change the layer name and change the sharpen amount around 40. Then create again new adjustment layer. This is our color correction layer and apply curve effect and create your curve like this. I am adding little bit blue effect but you are free to add any color. The color correction all depends on you. I am just showing you example. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now, add letterbox effect, so our video look more cinematic. Perfect, our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.